Hey everybody, Spidey here, and as always, I hope you're having a marvelous day. Have we got a lot to catch up on the Marvel Card News? It's been a while, so let's get to it. The Marvel Card News. Three, two, one, let's go. Up first, let's get to the first upcoming release that we expect to have in our hands soon, which is the another Fleer Ultra Midnight Suns release. Yeah, this is going to be an exciting release. You know, we just recently got Fleer Ultra Avengers. We previously had Fleer Ultra Spider-Man and Fleer Ultra X-Men. And we've got another Fleer Ultra to talk about later in the video, but here it is. Midnight Suns, Fleer Ultra Avengers, Midnight Suns. And if you're into the macabre, if you're into the dark side of the Marvel card universe, this set's going to be for you. And I love these comic clippings. Take a look at that. That's so good. We're getting back medallions and we're getting jambalayas again. And I think we're going to be able to see some characters that we don't get to see too often, like Forearm, Doctor Strange. <laughs> This set should have a similar makeup to the previous Fleer Ultra Avengers. Most of you are familiar with that. It is a more premium set, not quite Marvel Masterpieces or Premiere, which we've all recently, you know, enjoyed. But we're seeing that there's going to be a release date of December 6th for this set. And I am excited about it. I think it's going to be fun. Like I said, if you're into the macabre, you're into the dark side of the Marvel Universe, this is going to be for you. And I think it just gives artists a chance to do some things with art that they don't normally do. I also think that it gives Upper Deck to do some things with design for cards that they don't always do. Again, look at how beautiful the design is. In my opinion, for these comic cuts, I really like that a lot. But uh, we get some tombstone cards and things like that. That's going to be really interesting. But, you know, despite what we normally see, what I'm really excited about is take a look at this. This is the like three by three for this one. I think it looks really good. Look at that Moon Knight in the background. Look at the Ghost Rider up there. And nice to see Scholar Spider there as well. That brings us up to another release that we're getting soon. And I have to say I'm excited about this one. We've talked about this release on the channel, but that is none other than Marvel Platinum. And yeah, this, I think this is going to be a surprise set for how good you know, I think how well it's going to be received in the community. You're going to have a lot of the elements that we see in the Marvel card sets nowadays, again, with parallels and number of parallels. But this is original art, and it's got some really cool elements, but I think it's got some special stuff that's going on in it as well. Not to mention three inserts in every box. Um, but we, we got these designs that's going to be this chromium feel uh, that's going to be cool. I really do like this. It's like a high-end, you know, comic cover card um, for sure. And and here we have a beautiful Captain Marvel. That's art from my friend Ben Brady, who was on the channel this past weekend and painted a Spider-Man for me. But back to Marvel Platinum. I think this is going to be a great set. Take a look at that Spidey right there. I'd love to see that. Uh, it's going to be load number to 33. Great Hulk art as well. You know, we're going to have the normal elements like printing plates, but this marvel greats doing sketch cards that's really important more about that shortly but yeah i do think this this is going to be fun 200 card base set of original art marvel platinum probably going to be surprise set of the year if you ask me coming into 2024 just like we're going to have an early release possibly but you never know for sure so yeah we've got the uh, sales sheet here we've got some base cards we've got a beautiful box with scarlet witch on it Again, you've, I showed you the Spider-Man. We've got Hela and Storm and Hulk here. It looks like maybe Tom Fleming is the Hulk. And here we see a beautiful ghost spider, Spider-Gwen. That is Dave Palumbo art. So we've got prior Marvel Masterpiece artists doing art for these cards here. So that's really cool. Very nice of Doom. Love to see Doom. That Moon Knight is incredible. Moon Knight's always incredible, right? But yeah, we're going to get uh, artist autographs again, create autographs again. And some big ones like Sienkiewicz. And I love these comic book uh, covers here. Those are awesome. Yeah, this, gosh, I just think this is going to be really special. I really do. But this right here, look at that Thor. That is Bill Sienkiewicz sketch card, full colored art sketch card. That's going to be incredible. And one more look at this Spidey hit and this Iron Man base here. I think this is going to be a fun set. Marvel Platinum coming early in 2024. I'm excited about it. Let me know your thoughts down below. 
and the box configuration is going to be interesting. 16 boxes a case, 10 packs per box, 10 cards per pack scheduled to release early 2024. That brings us to a favorite of mine. I really enjoyed Marvel Flare as a kid, 94, 95 was just awesome. Go back and check out those sets if you're not familiar with it. But Marvel Flare did have an, another release in 2019, which was a lot of fun to open. But it also has had insert sets that have appeared in other releases like 2013, 2015 Flare Retro. But I'm really excited to get another release of this. Um, I think it's going to be great. we got great artists like Simone Bianchi here. Look at the Silver Surfer here, number to 23. Some good retro images from the older uh, flare set flare sets from the 1990s and cool splintered face of spider-man and Groot here now, All of this just points to I think what's going to be a fun set uh, The price point here is what's going to be interesting for me I don't know where this price is going to fall where I would like for it to fall, you know south of the you know Fleer ultras and You know a little south of Marvel Platinum so that would put it around, you know 150 bucks a box but I don't know, uh, but we do anticipate this to come out sometime in spring and summer. And again, I do think it's going to be a, a great set for us to enjoy in 2024. It's got all the different elements that I think that people want to see. You know, great original art, uh, typically get characters that you don't always see. And then also sketch cards and low number cards. Well, that brings us to the big news of the day that we got the images from Fleer Ultra Wolverine, the sales sheet, and a wonderful video from uh, GTS here dropped and you know look again more original art sets and premium card stock uh, You're familiar now with the Fleer Ultra uh, brand here But some cool aspects of this is we're gonna get medallions here, but we're gonna get them with the X-Men characters on it We're gonna get our uh, EX Century so that feels more like the Fleer Ultra Spider-Man we get these cool pop culture cards I like this insert here of Wolverine, great image. Not a fan <laughs> of the older brand Wolverine versus Hulk. More on that in a little bit, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. Again, get the autos with comic cut clippings. It's a great image here. More jambalayas, finally Deadpool. Wonder if we're gonna get a Spider-Man. Very curious about that. I'm gonna get more medallions here. Again, full Wolverine set, so you're gonna get a lot of versions of Wolverine, including X-23, who's a wonderful character with beautiful art. Yeah, look at this original art of uh, Professor X here. That one's fantastic. <laughs> be honest with you, that one's really, really good. I like that a lot. Um, Going to have another 2024 release of this. We've seen uh, the you know that artists have been doing sketch cards of this, so that's you know something we've known that was going to happen. The foiling on the back of this is going to be, I think, better than the Fleer Ultra Avengers. Doesn't like it's going to take away from the background too much, but yeah, yeah I think it's going to be better. Uh, again, here we got the medallions. I love that rogue down there at the bottom. I think that's a great image for that medallion. But these pop culture cards here at the top right, really excited about these. Um, I like pop culture uh, art. Uh, I, I think it's attractive and I think it's you know eye popping and something that I think we'll enjoy. Got a couple elements that we're familiar with with the Ultra Stars and the animation cell on autos. One thing I'm really excited about is the fact that we've got a Wolverine set and we're going to get metal cards. We get the adamantium cards. That's going to be a lot of fun, I think. And I like the way they redid the design there where you get Mystique and Wolverine together. Pretty cool. Also, we see that we're going to get another 3x3, which we're familiar with. This time we get a Hildebrandt, Wolverine versus Hulk, and I wonder if he was rushed because <laughs> not, not, not Hildebrandt's best work. And look, Hildebrandt top two top three marvel masterpiece set ever from an art standpoint but uh, not really feeling that one well that brings us to another release that just got dropped on us and that's marvel annual which is the annual upper deck card set that you know takes the full year of comics and puts it into a trading card set so honestly this set is really good if you're reading the back of the cards and looking for the cars to teach you about what's going on in the comic book world much like some of us did in the 90s that's what this set does uh, had some fun with the marvel annual set this year it was better than i anticipated personally um, and i think i'm not alone in saying that but this is a low-end set that gets people up to date on a year in the world of superheroes for marvel and um, 
we should get that early 2024 for I think the year of 2022 2023 I don't know how they how they cut off that year or start that year but something like that and feels like it's going to be the same typical setup that we see for annual nothing uh, new and unusual at least at a first glance and always good to see spotty but yeah so be on the lookout for that that is going to be a low end set for those out there looking for the under a hundred dollars a box to to be able to enjoy likely going to have a blaster version of this it will end up in retail stores i suspect as well again release date anticipated spring of 2024 well that brings us to the end of the video we covered a lot and honestly i didn't get to everything there's also a thor love and thunder mcu set that has been announced there's a spider-man set that's out there that um We've already started seeing some cards for, and it is called Marvel Renditions Spider-Man. Again, Marvel Renditions Spider-Man. Uh, it sounds like something that they may, you know, end up doing multiples of Marvel Renditions, Marvel Renditions. And it makes me wonder if the old, you know, kind of throwback retro sketch cards we saw, maybe that has something to do with it. Either way, I want to apologize for taking a while to get another Marvel Car News video out. I've, my life has been full. I've been dancing. It's a new hobby that I picked up and I'm really enjoying it. But I still love my Marvel cards and want to get you the information as I get it. Thank you for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you like this kind of content, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and hit the like button. But as always, I hope you have a marvelous day.